Earlier this season, Newcastle beat Liverpool 3-2 in a five-goal thriller when Liverpool nearly got an equaliser, but they missed an absolute sitter in stoppage time. Of course, Liverpool at home have won six, drawn three, lost one, scored 28 goals, just one less than the Northern champions, Manchester United. Now Raheem Sterling, who was in the squad yesterday against West Brom, although didn't make the final substitutes bench in the end, but has been involved in first-team squads recently. He's been training all last week up at Melwood with the first-team squad. Moyo, very comfortable with the ball, the left-back. He actually signed for Newcastle as a winger, and Moyo goes for the return. A good covering by Connor Cody. Hasn't played in centre-back for a, since last pre-season, but no rustiness there. That was a vital interception. Moyo did well to get forward again and then just try and get on the end of that one-two. Will be Ryan Donaldson with the corner. Little flick. Mendy got a touch in there. Back in. And a great finish by Moyo. That is a terrific goal. Newcastle take the lead. Even Moyo, the Frenchman. And the French defender gives Newcastle the lead. Has looked uh, quite strong and useful getting down that left hand side. And there he just sort of waits for the ball to fall to him, and when it comes out, it's a lovely controlled finish, just what you want, somebody showing a little bit of composure when they get the opportunity to hit the target from 18 yards out, I mean, that's a nice little finish. Pleasing start for Willie Donachie and his team. Well, Eccleston taking a tumble and getting the decision. It made a difference when he came on against Manchester United in the second half, Nathan Eccleston. Well, again, it's uh, Folan just leaving his leg in. In one or two incidents with him sort of uh, a little bit too eager to make challenges on Eccleston. Eccleston's brought a couple of fouls out of the big centre-half so far in these first 20 or so minutes. Well, they uh, going to change the free kick taker. Eccleston leaving this one for Christiana Dorje. Can the Hungarian produce a bit of quality from this one here? A little bit too close to the goal. Got it nice and nicely over the wall, but didn't really have the space enough to get it back down and threaten the, the target. Adorjan, good work by Adorjan now, it's a lovely ball, Sterling trying to break away here, a goal kick though, a bit better from Liverpool. Well initially nice quick feet by Adorjan to receive the ball and then get himself into a little bit of open ground. Newton, space here now for Donaldson, well, was slipped by Mendy, Donaldson goes on, challenged by Cody, penalty given. I find that a little bit harsh, actually. Donaldson looked to have uh, lost control of it, and um, Connor Cody has nowhere to go. And it was a slip by Mendy as well, wasn't it, that allowed Donaldson just to go on, you see there. And Cody came across... And it will be Mady Abaid, the most experienced player in the Newcastle lineup against Galaxy. 2 0, confidently done. Newcastle firmly in charge of this game. Just like when Manchester United came here the other day, Liverpool now needing to produce another great comeback. Yeah, it's disappointing to go two down. It's a com confident penalty by Abaid. Just with a second look. I don't know whether the referee was probably right.
now Suso can he release Eccleston he can and he's away Sterling back post will Eccleston go in alone but Raheem Sterling screaming in the middle wanted a pull back didn't get it and the goalkeeper Jack Alnwick with his first save well I thought Nathan Eccleston needed to just pull it, pull it inside a little bit he didn't sort of alter his angle he's a little bit wide Suso good play again by Suso great ball in Michael Ungu not far away Roberts Eccleston nice one too Eccleston gets it back from Suso good save by Alnwick Suso running the game at the moment in the second half again Liverpool using the width to good effect as well in the second period. That's what they didn't do in the first half. Eccleston going to go with the full back again. Sterling. Oh, he's got away from Moyo. Great work. Oh, go! Just as he did against Manchester United. Similar position. Liverpool back in it. Thoroughly deserved. Seven goals in his last seven games for Michael Ungu. 2-1 game on. Well, he's getting the benefit of just being on the spot. Great little service by Sterling. He does really well. Eccleston does well going down the left-hand side. And then the way Sterling battles Moyo to win this one back is very clever. It shows great tenacity. Perfect little ball in front of goal. Simplest of taffins. And Liverpool giving Newcastle a lot more to think about second half. I mean, the great thing about that, Dave, a lot of players would have given up there, but Sterling didn't. Yeah, he's a, he's a tricky customer, he's got great attitude. Suso. On Mendy. Space here for Nathan Eccleston. Trying to link with Suso. Roberts. Michael Ungu. Can he turn? Good challenge by Kitchen. But now Cody to Sterling. Mendy. Ungu is there. Oh. Well, Ungu holds his head in his hands there. Mendy did the right thing. It was a whipped in ball. And Robinson has done superbly well for Liverpool. Now Andre Wisdom, the skipper, taking charge. He's lost the ball and then he fouls him and, and may well get a yellow card there. Right in front of the referee, it was blatant after he'd lost possession. Mendy did really well down the right-hand side. Nice little ball down the channel from uh, Sterling. Mendy wasted no time putting the ball right in front of goal. And Gu a little bit frustrated, maybe he was... Half, maybe not expecting it, and he was just a little bit too far back. I mean, yourself and Aldo, obviously, our other guest on today's show, he would have loved the ball whipped in like that. <laughs> Suso. He's got options. Nice ball. Here's Michael Ungu. And Morgan and Sterling, oh, another chance, goes a begging for the Reds. Just skips up a little bit, it's not your bobble, just sort of lifts off the floor. He's not able to really direct it. Good uh, work by Ingu, just finding his space out on this right-hand side. Just as it just comes to him, he's just sort of leaning back and the ball's off the ground. Strong challenge. Oh, a straight red card for Suso. A straight red for the challenge on Ryan Donaldson. And Suso, we saw earlier this season, got a straight red in controversial circumstances against Manchester United. 
receives his marching orders here, Dave. The challenge on Ryan Donaldson. The referee didn't seem to have much uh, hesitation. It's not a red card, is it? I mean, when he goes charging into him, I thought, well, it, it's a silly foul to give away, but it's not a red card by any means. Terrible decision by the referee. I think actually he plays the ball, Suso. Well, that is that. So Liverpool end at their season with a disappointing defeat. Disappointing first half performance. Even Moyo fired Newcastle in front. Great finish. Then a penalty converted by Medi Abade after Connor Cody was judged to have tumbled over Ryan Donaldson. In the second half, though, Liverpool with Michael Ungu on for Adorsion. They changed the formation. They were much improved. Sterling set up Ungu to make a real game of it. Liverpool tried their best in the second half. All the analysis after the break, but it finished. Liverpool 1, Newcastle 2.